Hello and welcome to Joshi Repair. In front of us we've got RTX 3090. This is made by our good friends here at AVGA. You can see here on the back the warranty sticker has been tampered with, most likely for a thermal paste uh, replacement. Just looking on the side of the card, <laughs> we've noticed the thermal pads are missing for the memory modules. Let me just see if that's the same case on the other side. Yeah, so I'll try and attach, attach some images of that for you, or I'll even get you under the scope to show you that. And yeah, so we haven't been given any symptoms for this card or any history. The customer has just told us they need to send this Titan <laughs> ITU into us ASAP, get repaired, and back the next day. So that arrived with us this morning. Hopefully we'll get it done now and then send back tomorrow. Let's go under the microscope so I can show you these thermal pads. And no thermal pads on the top side either. Okay, it's quite likely that they've just used the water cooler for this 3090. We're going to go with 12 volts from the top. Perfect. 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 <clears throat> These should <clears throat> both be 5 volt rails. 10k. Sometimes this one reads about 1k. Yep. That's fine. This might be the 1k one. Yeah, there you go. So these three are 5 volt lines. Then we've got memory. So we're going to go over here. Perfect, 50 ohms, that's from Micron, 1.8, we've already checked it, PEX, lovely, and then these are all V-Core rails, it's on core as well, but these will pretty much read close to ground, you know, if this was back where the 900 series cars were around, the silicon was much smaller, and the resistance, you know, you could read at about 3, 4, 4 ohms, sometimes even 5 above, uh, some cases of course would be 2, but you'd never have, uh, you know, complete ground reading, you could actually see what the core resistance was. So after you check resistances, you're going to get it plugged in again, and you're going to check for voltages. I'm going to switch you back to the top view. And if we clean that up very quick, that should be enough. I want to show you under the microscope so we can actually see together what's going on here. Nice blowing Diamos. Fantastic. If you look just there. See the solder balls sticking out, squeezed out, see that? Alright, so let's get this on the preheater and we will report back with some progress hopefully.
you can see all the capacitors are fine Alright, let's test that now. 